All right, y'all. Next day impressions. We changed our mind. We're gonna nickname her Queen B. Queenie. We wanted to take a minute to thank our friends at thebikerlawyers.com. If you're ever in an accident in Iowa or Minnesota, make sure to call and ride the recovery road with the biker lawyers. Y'all, we have a really big surprise and we're really excited. We're here at Baltimore Harley Davidson and we're going to let you know in just a few minutes, but if you can't tell, my level of excitement is, a, is an 11 out of 10. <laughs> Hit up Jeremy. Jeremy. I bought my breakout from him. He's the man. Um, so you buy, you sell a lot of bikes, don't you? Sure. Don't need to brag. He doesn't need to brag. <laughs> so if you watched, actually, it was here my test ride video of the Nightster last year, like exactly a year ago, I think, because it was on Demo Day. Yep. I rode the 2022 Nightster, and I loved it. So much, and I said if I was gonna get a second bike, it was gonna be this bike. But not for, not necessarily for touring, like Michael and I like to do, but just like for a fun bike to go around town. Because the first time that I got on this, and you guys can see, Pulaski Highway is like a super busy road, and it was a whole bunch of us taking out bikes for Demo Day, and I was not prepared when I turned just into throttle the first time how much this bike was gonna take off. Anyway, I loved it, had so much fun, and then if you watched recently, Michael and I tried the Sportster S. S and the Nightster. We rode, we test rode both of them, and the flop. loved it. Even Michael liked it. I liked he it. He was not a Sportster fan. I, <laughs> that's he not just, a Sportster compared to old Sportster, in my really opinion. He really disliked my 883, not because it was a bad bike, just because... It just didn't fit me. That's right, and... He likes a little, a little bit more, a little bit more power. And so, that age is getting me, right? <laughs> uh, so it was not his favorite to ride my sporty, but even he had fun on this. I did. And we both have said, despite some critics, that we are really happy and have had a lot of fun with the new Sportster line that Harley did. So we're really excited and grateful. We're going to get to ride it for a month, and we're going to give you guys all the stuff. Mm. Right, what should so. I know about this, Jeremy? Pretty, pretty quick. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like I was telling you earlier, it's a very comfortable sitting condition. Yep. Uh, fun bike to ride. Yeah. Sit on it on. Yeah, really, let's do it with the back of it. <laughs> I'm very surprised are, how much I like that. Are right, you flat footing? Huh? You flat footing on that? Yeah, I can flat foot on this bike. Easier than mine, for sure. 100%. Nice. Although, like, yeah, and you know, the pegs are closer than mine, but yep. further than my sporty. Okay. Which is better. Now, now learn how to turn it on. That's a good that <laughs> I know how to turn it on. It's just like this. It's the regular, but it's got this little twisty thing instead of the yeah. line has the switch. What's all the mother buttons doing? Okay, but my, my main thing is Jeremy, how do I put gas in it? <laughs> <laughs> That's the fun part. <laughs> Hold on. So, <laughs> I know that this is different than like other Harleys I remember. 
Okay. See, you can turn it over here. And that's where I put gas. Like a V-Rub. Okay. Oh, I did not know this that. It's going to be something new. <laughs> <laughs> but we got a little film so you won't forget. This. So this will be a new thing. So I got to always have... This is good to know because on my bike, I will pack my keys like deep into the bag sometimes. Don't do that. Uh -huh. I need to have the keys <laughs> close. So they were nice enough, y'all, to put these bags on it. And this is the Nightster S, so it has passenger pegs and a passenger seat. We'll give you a review of that. Uh, Jeremy, is there a difference between the S and the, the non-S with the suspension mm. because they have this set up for a passenger? Not so much with suspension. Uh, you get a taller riser in the Knights DS. Okay. Uh, you get also get the kind of retro badge yeah. on it. You get it's the back seat of the page. Gotcha. It's pretty original. <laughs> Hop on your banana real quick. <laughs> I know. I mean, that's a good looking banana, I'll say. <laughs> so, I do think the, the like, bar positioning is pretty similar to my Little Rider S when I had it stopped. Okay. Like, that's where the bar is. Okay. Um, Alright, we're going to have to we're gonna get used to this gas tank. To find your kickstand, get used to where that's at. It, look, it's so nice. So you, you, I usually can't reach kickstands on bikes. Look at this, I can reach it the whole yeah. way. So Everybody's going to say, this bike fits you better than the right yeah. <laughs> Which it might. That's why we're riding it, right? Well, because you know what I get all the time. You should get a bike that fits you. That, those bikes are too big for you. Or, or is this coming from people who you don't communicate with and you have no idea who they are? Yeah. Oh, then forget about it. <laughs> See, because you, you ride a lot of bikes, but you don't ride a lot of bikes for Very long cool, periods of time. Right, so this is going to be a, a cool Although, experience. you know, there's very few people that have commented on my Rib Glide and Street Glide test ride videos itself and said, you couldn't ride that bike because when I ride the bike, it didn't. <laughs> don't tell her she can't do it. She'll try it. Um, All right, let's go right. wash it. <laughs> hey, why don't you get that bike? That's a sexy bike. I you did. I did. I did. <laughs> so we're going to ride it home. We're going to take. We got all kinds of different footage coming with this bike, yes, right? We, we got long trips, short trips, sure. medium sized trips. We're also going, we're doing one other May trip. <laughs>
Guys, I am so excited and I'm so appreciative that Harley's giving us this opportunity. Thank you so much to Matt at Harley um, and to Dina and Donnie at Baltimore Harley. Um, we are just so excited to be able to take this bike all the places and do a long-term review and I loved this bike so much the first time that I rode it and I am loving it even more now. I can't believe how nimble it is, how easy it turns. It's really cool that it's totally different than the soft tails I've ridden in terms of the power band and when I need to shift, I know that that's because it's a totally different motor and a totally different bike. But it's fun for me to learn a new motorcycle and to improve my skills on a bike that I am not as used to riding as I am my low rider S, which I still love and is still my favorite bike of all time. But this bike is shaping up to be a really good time. I can't wait to tell you guys and show you guys all of our adventures on it and give you some of my feedback. If you're not familiar with the Baltimore area, this is the Harbor Tunnel. I have ridden through plenty of tunnels in my time as a motorcyclist, but I have actually never ridden through this tunnel on a bike by myself. I have once ridden with Mike through it, maybe twice, um, but as a passenger, not as a rider. So it was kind of fun that I got to do it for the first time on the 2023 Nightster S. And I am learning all of the new cool things that it can do. But as Michael said, zippy is a great word for it. I can't wait for our trip. We're actually leaving tomorrow to go to the Blue Ridge Parkway for International Female Ride Day, as I mentioned. So stay tuned, guys. And as always, thank you for your support ride safe and if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel it would mean so much to michael and i and help us to continue to go on these adventures and share with you all thanks guys all right y'all next day impressions we changed our mind we're gonna nickname her queen b queenie next day impressions she was so nimble so easy to turn that was amazing. It is really easy for me to taxi and park this. So if you are a smaller person, people ask me all the time. I'm about five foot two. Um, this would be a great option for you because it's really easy. And sometimes I adore my low rider S, but sometimes it's more difficult on my low rider to move it once I've parked it. There's all these cool features that I'm still learning how to use. There is Bluetooth connectivity, so I can connect um, 
my phone and see the display right here. There's all sorts of cool modes. There's sport mode, rain mode. So as I learn, I'll be giving you guys the down low. So stay tuned. And I'm really, really, really excited because I'm taking it on a trip to Skyline Drive and the Blue Ridge Parkway. Lauren's coming, all y'all Lauren fans. Tiffany is coming today. We, I, I try to get all the ladies for International Female Ride Day. So that video will be out next week, but um, stay tuned guys.